The Policy Innovation Center believes adopting behavioral insights for public policy will improve policies and promote better living through financial inclusion, health, human capital, and transparency. Faisal Naro, the Executive Director at the Policy Innovation Center, joins me now to discuss this. Faisal, thank you so much for your time. So let's first of all appreciate what the Policy Innovation Center, which I understand. The Policy Innovation Center believes adopting behavioral insights for public policy will improve policies and promote better living through financial inclusion, health, human capital, and transparency. Faisal Naro, the Executive Director at the Policy Innovation Center, joins me now to discuss this. Faisal, thank you so much for your time. So let's first of all appreciate what the Policy Innovation Center, which I understand was set up, or should I say launched, at the last Nigeria Economic Summit. It was set up, uh, it was set up, and the main purpose and the reason for it being set up is to really have policies that work better uh, inside Nigeria by using the behavioral insights and other innovative policy tools from across the world, but having a Nigerian resource in order to do this. Right, so behavioral insights, what exactly do you mean by that? And what difference does that make in policy formation and evaluation? Behavioral insights is really trying to appreciate how people actually behave and having a realistic way of thinking about people as human beings and not as superhuman beings. So instead of assuming that, for instance, they are going to have all the time in the world in order to do a full analysis of key decisions like what pensions they're going to have, what bank accounts they're going to have, really understanding that people live in the real world and real people don't necessarily behave and think in that way because of the real world is not designed in that way. And so they, they make decisions in to the way that, say, policymakers assume or wish or hope that people would make decisions. And that's often the reason why policies um, do not end up achieving the kind of outcomes that they want to, they want to actually deliver. Right. So I'm not going to ask you to explain the nitty-gritty of how this works, but what output can we expect from the Policy Innovation Center? So looking across the world at what others have done, um, there are numerous different things that, that can be done. Um, for instance, in New Zealand, an increase in pension coverage through a behaviorally informed intervention of changing default setting from instead of you having to opt into pensions, everyone was automatically opted in and you had to opt out if you didn't want to be in there. Um, in the UK, they had a very uh, large increase in, um, in tax compliance simply by having a behavioral message inside the tax reminder letter to pay their taxes on time. And there are other countries that are there now doing this as well. So, for instance, in Qatar, there was a huge increase in, in, in diagnosing diabetes uh, through understanding that the best way to do this is when people to make it easy for people to get this diagnosis done. So they did it during Ramadan and they set up these cities in, in mosques. And more recently in South Africa, they've been doing some very foundational work on trying to improve uh, attainment outcomes, particularly for those, uh, those children in more deprived areas. Um, and they've seen increases in attainment of up to 10% simply by doing this. So we hope that by applying this in Nigeria, we're also going to be able to shift the dial on a number of different key policy areas that are so important for Nigerians. No, and those are great examples that you just um, pointed out there. But again, I want to understand more precisely what we can expect from the Policy Innovation Center. So, for example, are you going to be having like quarterly or monthly or annual recommendations in terms of changes that the government can make in terms of how it actually address, addresses some of these policies? So what we'll be doing at the Policy Innovation Centre is we're going to be working directly with government and other partners, whether it's the international and donor community or the private sector, on specific projects in order to try and help the either the design diagnostics or the of policies in order to improve the lives of Nigerians. So what you should be expecting from us is is workshops and engagements and this is an open invitation for those who are also interested in doing this kind of work with us 
partnering up in order to deliver key projects for, uh, for, for Nigeria. Right. And I totally get the point about how these insights could impact how the population receive uh, policies and try to um, confirm and get on board with them. But what about the policy makers themselves? Uh, I wonder to what extent you would be addressing that to, because uh, many will suggest that in Nigeria, we're, we're not short of ideas, it's more of the implementation. So perhaps we need some insight in, into how to implement some of these policies. So it's a very good question. And uh, over the last, uh, last week, actually, we held a few workshops with the government officials and with other partners as well to start to have this dialogue and discussion and find out how people are going to be receptive or not to behavioral insights and the innovative policy tools that we're bringing. And what I would say really here is that, is that there is, there's lots of enthusiasm. And in fact, there's lots of appetite for having a tool inside government and inside policy making that can assist in the better delivery of policies ultimately. Yeah. Um, and you're right that implementation is one of the uh, things may not necessarily uh, be optimal and therefore the outcomes may not necessarily be great. But the other area that I'd say as well where it's equally important is in the diagnostics and design. That sometimes it's important to spend um, real time to understand why exactly people are behaving in the way that they're behaving or why exactly people aren't doing what is expected of them to do in order to then design those policies and then implement them afterwards as well. So behavioral insights and um, and, and the innovative work that the Policy Innovation Center is going to be doing is going to go across the entire policy cycle right. um, and try and assist partners wherever uh, there, is, there is demand for us to come and work. No doubt th that diagnostic approach is needed, no, no question in Nigeria. But last question is, I'll, put, I'll pose to you is, um, who, who needs to get on board with you and how can they partner? Because I imagine that you need support from both the private and public sector to make this happen. And of course, development institutions are, across the world, I, I imagine, should be interested in this too. That's right. Really, I think, I think for us, um, we are open to partner with many, but our key partners will be people inside government, inside the development sector, and the private sector who are trying to or who are trying to get products um, out there. For instance, it could be in the financial sector, those working on financial inclusion. Um, it could be in the health sector, those trying to improve outcomes for, uh, for people. It could be in the education sector, mm. uh, where people are trying to um, uh, enhance the human capital inside Nigeria. But wherever, wherever you are, um, we are very happy to start the conversations and see how we can all join together. The, the issues that are faced not only by Nigeria, but many countries across the world are complex, they're dynamic, and they need joint effort. Mm. And we are standing ready here in the Policy Innovation Center to be part of that effort and certainly to be a key part in applying some of these innovative tools. One area that I would be really interested to hear about is what you're finding about how the civil service works, because many much older than me tell me that it has changed enormously in terms of how it works in this country and in terms of making sure that we have the right people with the right skills and enthusiasm to do the work. But thank you so much for chatting with us today. I've been speaking to Faisal Naru, the executive director at the Policy Innovation Center.